Okay, episode 6 of Drunk Crafter, a Minecraft drinking game. I've got that down pat, even though I'm halfway through a bottle of um, brand name bean. Uh, brand name bourbon. Um, right, so I put the ladder there. Now, which way was I actually digging? That looks like it would be worthwhile to mine out. Maybe this is where I was when I broke No, this can't be where I was when I broke it. Bloody water. Jesus. Third one, really? Fourth one? How do you get four creepers in a row? Oh, well, I could see where they were, but I guess that counts as surprise butt sex. Maybe instant oh, that was two drinks. Um, maybe instead of surprise butt sexed, I should have said, if you have a creeper, blow up. But surprise butt sex sounds funnier, so I'm going to stick with that. But we'll actually use that as if it means if they blow up. Because, well, just because. <sighs> well, it was a bat. Uh, nothing up there. Okay, so that was the way in. Let's create a way across here. Some iron there. I might just go through a bit until I go back and dig up what is behind me. Get a bit of coal, a bit of that. Bit of this, bit of that. Let's no. Right. Get more coal so we can do more smelting, make more torches. In fact, I might make some more torches just in a moment. I don't like running out of torches. Um, yeah, so a bit more about me. As I've said in a previous video, I've previously posted some Minecraft videos under the Zilby on YouTube. Um, I've been playing Minecraft since, I think, March 2011. Um, 
so it had been out for I think a year and a half at that point. Um, I believe it was still in alpha. It had been through the Halloween update. It had been the previous um, Halloween, so it was a few months after that. So there were pumpkins already. Um, I started playing single player because I'd heard the name Minecraft before, but I got it confused with StarCraft and thought that it was like a really nerdy um, uh, strategy game. Um, I guess it is pretty nerdy and it kind of strategy comes into it. Um, but it's not what I thought it was. Um, so I kind of avoided it before that, but then I watch. I used to watch a lot of uh, Call of Duty games, and I saw a scene as one of his Minecraft videos. And from the very first one that I watched, I just thought, holy shit, that looks a lot like playing with Lego. Or Lego, if you're not from South Australia. Um, and that was one of my favourite things as a kid. Like, I loved Lego. Because, well, I guess not everyone's going to be from here, so I might as well call it what you call it. Um, like, that stuff was the shit. Um, and yeah, watching C Nana's play it, I was like, oh my god, that looks so much like you know, what I used to love doing as a kid, because you can basically do whatever you want. You can create stuff, and even though he'd been recording, like, at the time, that video was reasonably old, so he must have been in on it pretty early. Um, and there was nowhere near as much of um, the stuff that you can do now in Minecraft back when he'd recorded. Um, but there was still enough that it looked really cool. Like all that he did in that video was dig a like house in the side of a hill and run around looking for trees. That was pretty much all he did. But it still managed to capture my imagination. Um, I thought, well, I'll give this a go. And I saw that there was a free version and a paid version. Um, so I tried... Well, I think that I tried the free version to start with. Um, which, it's basically... The free version is what Creative is now. Um, so, I like playing Survival. Um, I've used Creative Mode on servers when I've um, been an op. Um, and yeah, it's fun. I like building stuff, but I also like playing it as an actual game. Um, so the free version of it didn't really... I mean, it had the creativity of LEGO, Lego um, but it wasn't really a fun game. So I think I only really played that once or twice, and then I thought, oh, fuck it, it's a reasonably cheap game compared to, you know, buying the latest Call of Duty on PlayStation or Xbox. Um, it's pretty cheap. Awesome. don't have any mushrooms yet. Now I just need a red one and then create a dark room and I can start growing some mushrooms. Um, you know, it was only, I think, $20 or $25 at the time, which I think it's still $25. Um, I thought, God, I'll give it a go. Started a single player world because at the time I, I didn't know anyone that played this game and I couldn't really see the point in playing multiplayer because I thought, well, when I played with uh, Lego as a kid, it was always on my own. Like sometimes my little brother played, but he was pretty crap at it, to be honest. Um, so it was usually just playing on my own, creating stuff. So that's what I figured I'd do in this game. Um, and looking back on it, I played pretty stupidly. But at the time, 
was amazing. Like I was just finding out new things. We had the Wikipedia, the, the um, Minecraft wiki was around, and I think I read a reasonable amount of that. Um, but you couldn't learn everything in that. Well, I didn't even know that dungeons existed until I'd been playing for quite a while. I think until I went to um, doing an adventure map. Um, and so I started playing this game, and then I was looking on YouTube, and I found Paul Saws Jr., who I still watch his videos today, his tutorials, even though it's pretty much always on stuff that I already know. I still like watching him. Um, and it wasn't too long after I started playing that I started talking about the game with my friends. And they couldn't get it. They still can't get it. Um, I've managed to get one of them to play the game once. Coincidentally, also when he was drinking. Um, so maybe I might be able to get him to watch this. Because he does love his beer. Um, and he seemed to kind of enjoy it at the time. But I don't know if he was just pretending to enjoy it so that I'd stop making him play it. Um, or if he actually kind of enjoyed it, but since he hasn't bought it since then, and it's not like the money would be a problem to him, um, maybe he didn't actually like it. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't physically know anyone that played or liked this game um, until I decided that it was so cool that I'd show it to my little brother and sister who are a fair bit younger than me. I thought, well, there's a chance that they'll like it. Um, and it turns out that they did kind of like it, so I bought a copy for each of them. Um, and then I thought, well, since we've now each got a copy, it's probably about time to learn how this multiplayer thing works. So I set up a server on my laptop um, and played on the same computer using that server with them and then they got a couple of their friends to join because they knew people that played already. Um, and we had a pretty good time. Um, we ended up playing... It was bef well before creative mode was added but we... I opt everyone so we were just able to use the spawning commands um, so, you know, slash give and whatever the player's name is, um, however many of whatever item number it is. Or if maybe it was item number then, however many. Um, I think it was how... No, I'm pretty sure it was like give um, Adam RSX 64001 or whatever the item number was. I think that was how it works. Um, so, like, we were kind of playing adventure because I don't think I had the mobs turned off. Um, but you didn't have the hunger bar at the time, you just had hearts and then food replenished your hearts. Um, oh, more iron awesome. I thought that was just going to be one on its own. Um, and I think we ended up spawning a lot of golden apples and just using golden apples to replenish our hun um, health. But we did learn a lot. Um, then I decided I wanted to learn about redstone. And oh, I'm going to have to have a drink here because I finally found some gold. It's only taken. What's this is this episode five, I think. Um, one of them I wasn't on here, but it's still at least over an hour. So have a drink. Well, two drinks. Um, oh, and when I'm having a drink, you can have a drink. That's how this works. Oh, more iron. Awesome. Awesome. Even more awesome. Um... So, you know, we were kind of what I'd consider these days to be cheating, but not everyone does. 
um, on this map that I created. And we made some cool stuff and then we experimented with railways. Um, then I found out about redstone. Well, I'd, I'd known about redstone, but it seemed a bit too complicated. Um, but I started getting bored, so I figured what I wanted to do was learn how to use this redstone stuff. Best way I figured to do that, apart from reading the wiki, was to look for some videos on YouTube. Oh, got to have a drink because I've destroyed a tool. Still made that one pretty strong. Um, so I searched on Wikipedia for redstone tutorials and I found some from a YouTuber under the channel of Brenny Beast. Um, to start with, I didn't really... I think in his first or second one he was talking about... Um, was also to do with it being binary. And you know, I'd heard of binary in maths at high school, and then also I think we'd learnt binary in computer science in first year at uni, um, which I think we spent first year computer science programming in Java, which coincidentally Minecraft is um, programmed in, runs in. Um, which is kind of why it hogs resources, I believe. Um, but I didn't real. I'd never really retained it. I didn't pay a lot of attention in computer science because I only enrolled in it because a girl that I liked was in it. Um, and then we ended up spending most of it writing notes and throwing paper planes at the lecturer. Um... But yeah, so it forced me to kind of concentrate on what Brenny was talking about in his tutorials. And I've completely forgotten which way I came in here. Um, I guess if I go towards the sand and then dig up, I can get to the surface. So it doesn't really matter. Ah, uh, it was under here. Um, but then I got into... <laughs> going through his tutorials one by one and copying what he'd been building in them um, and then putting doors and actually it was really only doors that they worked with at the time I think um, to see how they actually worked in the real world or at least in the Minecraft real world um, So by doing that, it gave me an understanding of how different circuits work. So, you know, things so that you could lock a door from either side, or so that you could use a button um, to make a door act one direction instead of open and close. Um, you know, I mucked around with that, and then. Mojang added the pistons, which had been included in mod packs previous to that, um, to the actual game. And I thought, well, what can I do with these pistons? I think one of the... F like, after initially just mucking around, placing them and seeing, oh, you can make them go in and out, I worked out that I wanted to take this cliff that was in the world and make the pistons push out blocks so that it pushed out a walkway to cross this um, halfway down this cliff from one side to the other. I thought that was a pretty good use for them. Hooked all of that up. Um, it was reasonably simple. Just took a lot of repeaters behind each piston um, so that you could have a whole lot in a row. Um, then I thought, well, what else can I do with this? And ended up coming up with the idea of having, above where these pistons were poking in and out, I could dig a big um, hole along the width of the cliff, put pistons that came up and down, 
that blocked off water coming out. Um, so looking like it was a waterfall, and then hit a button, those pistons retracted, the water stopped coming, and then it also popped out the um, walkway at the same time. So that involved using an inverted signal as well as pistons. Hooked all that up, and that was pretty cool. Then built a bit of a um, path going up to it from a castle that we built. Um, and also because we'd been using kind of um, creative mode, I built massive pyramids, I had a roller coaster using railway or rail track with no powered rails, just gravity powered. Um, inside this pyramid I built a sphinx. I had tunnels leading from pyramid to sphinx to pyramid. Um, we built a big town with all these house, like multi-storied houses with basements. Uh, I built an awesome pub. I still haven't built a better pub than that first one that I built. Um, you know, just mucking around, playing, because I think that's the best way to learn. Yeah, um, now. My time has sounded, so we're over 20 minutes at the moment. Um, so I'm going to cut here, we'll come back, and I'll continue the story.